la 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 Good morning little Maddie, time to play with friends and animals we'll learn today From A to Z we'll explore with glee Mornings with Maddie and some animals please La 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 la, it's a magical show with creatures galore Watch them all grow from A to Z, we'll learn together Mornings with Maddie, it is joy forever Hello Maddie, it's Paw Paw Tony here. It's time for another day of, or another episode of Mornings with Maddie. And today we have a very special guest that's going to talk to you about animals that start with the letter I. So the first animal that we're going to talk about is the iguana. So here is my special guest, Mimi, to talk about iguanas. Thanks Paw Paw Tony for having me on today's show. Good morning, Madison. Mimi here is to talk to you about iguanas. Are you ready to learn about iguanas, Maddie? Good. Iguanas are herbivorous <laughs> reptiles. Herbivorous. Herbivorous. Reptiles known for their distinctive appearance and often bright green color. They have a unique third eye on the top of their heads called a parietal eye, which helps them detect predators from above. Some iguanas can change colors to regulate their body temperature or to communicate with other iguanas. The marine iguana found in the Galapagos Islands that's my place, is the only iguana series that can swim and forage in the ocean. Iguanas are proficient climbers and often found basking on tree branches to absorb sunlight. They are equipped with sharp claws and a strong tail, which they use for defense against predators. Male iguanas are territorial and use elaborate displays, head bobbing and push-up exercises to establish dominance and attract mates. Iguanas have a unique way of expelling excess salt from their bodies through specialized glands near their nostrils. Despite their tough exterior, iguanas are sensitive to temperature changes, and extreme cold can lead to temporary paralysis. Green iguanas are among the largest lizard species and can grow up to six feet in length. That's really big. They have a keen sense of smell, which helps them locate food in their environment. Iguanas are known to communicate using various vocalizations, including hissing, grunting, and barking sounds. Female iguanas are known to dig nesting burrows for laying eggs, and they exhibit strong maternal instincts. Iguanas are cold-blooded, relying on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. Some species of iguanas, like the desert iguana, have adapted to arid environments and can withstand high temperatures. Their teeth continuously grow throughout their lives, and they use their sharp teeth for biting and tearing vegetation. Iguanas have specialized gut that allows them to efficiently process and extract nutrients from plant materials. The spiny iguana is named for the prominent spines running down its tail, providing protection against predators. Iguanas play a crucial role in the ecosystems by helping control insect population through their herbivorous diet. Iguanas are often kept as exotic pets, but their care requires specific conditions, including proper UV lighting and temperature control. Iguanas have a unique digestive system that allows them to ferment plant material, aiding in the breakdown of tough celluloids. Some species of iguanas are at risk due to habitat loss, illegal pet trade, or predation by invasive species. Iguanas are known for their excellent vision, enabling them to detect movement and potential threats from a distance. They are found in a variety of habitats, including rainforest, deserts, and coastal areas. Iguanas are capable of regenerating their tails if they are injured or detached, 
a common defense mechanism. Despite their predominantly herborious diet, iguanas may occasionally consume small insects or other animals. Well, Mimi, you sure, you sure do know a lot about iguanas. That's amazing. But now I thought maybe you could tell some uh, tell tell uh, Maddie about some more animals that start with the letter I. Do you have some more things that you can talk to us about? You bet, Papa Tony. Now let's talk about an inchworm. Inchworms are the larvae of geometrid moths belonging to the family geometrid. They got their names from the way they move, appearing to measure the ground inch by inch with their looping, inching motion. Inchworms have distinct body segments with three legs of true legs at the front and pro legs at the rear, giving them a unique appearance. They are excellent at camouflage, resembling twigs or branches, which helps them to avoid predators. Inchworms are voracious eaters, primarily feeding on leaves and plants. Some species of inchworms are considered agri agricultural press, pests, damaging crops and ornamental plants. They undergo a complete metamorphosis, transitioning from eggs to larvae, which are the inchworms, pupae, and finally emerging as adult moths. Inchworms produce silk, which they use to create protective cocoons during the pupal stage. They play a role in the ecosystem by serving as a food source for birds, spiders, and other predators. Inchworms have a remarkable ability to hang from silk threads, allowing them to escape from predators or reach new feeding areas. Some species of ge geometrid moths are known for their intricate and attractive wing patterns as adults. Inchworms use silk threads for more than just cocoons. They often drop down from trees using silk strands to reach the ground safely. Certain inchworm species have evolved to resemble twigs or bark to blend in seamlessly with their surroundings. The looping movement of an inchworm is a result of their unique way of using their abdominal prolegs to grip and propel themselves forwards. Inchworms are found in a variety of habitats, including forests, gardens, and grasslands. They are primarily nocturnal, feeding at night to avoid predators. Inchworms are sensitive to environmental condi conditions and factors like temperature can influence their development. Some species of the geometrid moths are more important pollinators, contributing to the reproductive success of certain plants. Inchworms can communicate using pheromones, chemicals that help them attract mates during the adult stage. The coloration of inchworms can vary widely, ranging from green and brown to more vibrant hues, depending on the species. Certain species of inchworms exhibit fascinating behavior, such as forming marching lines when traveling in groups. They have evolved diverse strategies for survival, including the ability to regrow lost body segments in some cases. Inchworms are often studied in scientific research for insights into their unique locomotion and ecological interaction. Some species of the ge geometrid moths have adapted to urban developments where they may be found in gardens and parks. Inchworms are crucial contributors to nutrient cycling as they break down plant matter and recycle nutrients in ecosystems. Their natural predators include birds, spiders, and insects like parastoid wasps. Inchworms are capable of defending themselves by regurgitating noxious substances when threatened by predators. Some species of the geometrid moths are known for their long-distance migration, covering significant distances during their adult stage. Inchworms have been subject of artistic inspiration, featured in literature, poetry, and visual arts. The intricate rhythmic movement of inchworms has captivated observers and researchers alike, inspiring studies on the biometrics and robotics. Mads, do you want to learn about the ibex next? Let's go! Ibex refers to several species of wild goats with long, curved horns belonging to the genus Capra. 
They are adapted to rugged mountainous terrain and are often found in various regions, including the Alps, Himalayas, and the Rocky Mountains. Ibex are known for their remarkable climbing abilities, navigating steep cliffs and rocky edges with ease. Both male and female ibex have impressive backward curving horns, but those of the male are typically larger and more robust. Ibex are herbivores, grazing on grasses, herbs, and shrubs in their alp alpine habitats. They have specialized hooves with concave undersides that provide traction on rocky surfaces. Ibex engage, engage in ritualized behaviors, including horn clashes and displays to establish dominance during the mating season. The Nubian Ibex holds the record for the longest horn length among wild goats, with males' horns reaching over 50 inches. Ibex populations face threats from habitat loss, hunting, and competition with domestic livestock. Conservation efforts to protect and preserve ibex populations in their natural habitats. Now I have one more animal to talk to you about today, Mads, and that is the Ichthyosaurus. I think you will find this animal very interesting. Well, Papa Tony, I know a few things about the Ichthyosaurus. 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 Itchy, I'm itching. Ichthyosaurus. For example, did you know the Ichiosaurus was not a dinosaur, but an extinct marine reptile that lived during the Mesozoic era around 90 to 250 million years ago? Its name, Ichiosaurus, means fish lizard in Greek, reflecting in its streamlined fish-like body shape adapted for life in the water. Fossils of Ichiosaurus were first discovered early in the 19th century and these findings played a crucial role in the early understanding of extinct reptiles. Unlike most reptiles, Ichiosaurus were viviparous, giving birth to live young in sea rather than laying eggs. This adaptation is rare among reptiles and suggests a more complex reproductive strategy. Ichiosaurus were widespread, inhabiting oceans around the world. Fossil remains have been found in Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and Australia. Different species of Ichthyosaurus varied in size. Some were very small, as long as a few feet, while larger species reached lengths of over 20 feet. Ichthyosaurus had streamlined bodies, a dorsal fin, and a tail with a vertical lobe, similar to modern dolphins, indicating powerful swimming capabilities. Fossilized eye sockets of the Ichthyosaurus suggest that they had large eyes, indicating adaptations for low light or deep sea conditions, enhancing their ability to hunt prey. Ichthyosaurus had sharp, conical teeth well suited for catching fish and other marine prey. Fossilized stomach contents indicate a diet primarily consisting of fish and squid. Ichthyosaurus became extinct around the same time as the dinosaurs, possibly due to changes in climate, sea levels, and the availability of prey. Some fossil sites contain numerous ichthyosaurus skeletons, suggesting that they may have gathered in certain areas, possibly for mating or birthing. Fossilized embryos have been found within the bodies of some pregnant ichthyosauruses providing direct evidence of live birth in this extinct species. The study of ichthyosauruses has contributed significantly to our understanding of marine life during the Mesozoic period and the evolution of marine reptiles. Early paleontologists, including Mary Anning in the early 19th century, played a crucial role in discovering and studying ichthyosaurus fossils contributing to the field of paleontology. The unique appearance of Ichthyosaurus has inspired artistic representations in books, documentaries, and paleo art, helping to bring prehistoric marine life into the public's imagination. And that's what I know about Ichthyosauruses. Okay. Bye, Mads. I'll talk to you later, love. That was amazing, Mimi. 
Thank you so much for being the special guest today and telling us all about all these different animals that start with the letter I. So until next time, let's say goodbye to Maddie. Bye, Maddie. Mornings with Madison, it's so fun. It's mornings with Madison, it's so fun.